You know those days when nothing's quite going right? Maybe you forgot your lunch at home. Maybe you've been kept inside all day by wildfire smoke. Or maybe a tree blew over and destroyed your house. Well, it sounds like you need to keep better track of your lunch and also learn how to adapt to the impacts of climate change. So now, it's time for a tiny explanation of how to stay safe as Edmonton's weather gets more unpredictable. The risk of wildfire is increasing because of climate change. Wildfires might not feel like a big concern for someone living in a city, but where there's fire, there's smoke, and sometimes a lot of it. As we know, even distant wildfires can have a big air quality impact on cities. A well-sealed airtight home is not only more energy efficient, it also keeps that smoke out. Improved weather stripping on doors is one of the easiest, cheapest ways of improving air tightness for most homes. Of course, smoke isn't the only threat from wildfires. As you may know, fire, it's hot and it burns things. If you're in the market to reside your house, you should consider the fire resistance of your materials, especially if your house is next to areas with lots of trees. Cement stucco, cement board siding, or brick are all great for this. And even wood composite materials are safer than vinyl siding. These same fire resistant materials are also more durable. That's handy because climate change means we'll be dealing with high winds more often than we do now. More brittle siding is more likely to get damaged by blowing debris. Don't believe me? I've got three little pigs I'd like you to meet. You can also make sure the wind has less things to throw at you by anchoring sheds, air conditioning units, and outdoor furniture to the ground and clearing any dead or particularly vulnerable trees that could come down on your house during high winds. But really, what are the odds of it happening again? If you're worried about wind, you can also consider getting stormproof windows. These are already common in hurricane-prone areas, but could become more important here as our weather gets more severe. And make sure that those windows are also energy efficient. And last, but certainly not least, it does not hurt to have a well-stocked emergency preparedness kit for you, your family, and your pets. In case you have to shelter in place or leave your house for any reason, whether it's flooding, wildfire, or another tree falling on your house. How? Anyway, that kit should include a radio, batteries, flashlight, first aid kit, non-perishable food, and drinking water. Enough for 72 hours. This has been a tiny explanation of how to stay safe as our weather gets more extreme. To learn more about preparing your home for climate change, visit climateresilienthome.ca. And to learn more about taking action on climate change, visit changeforclimate.ca.